Hey guys, Kevin from Mix Coach. What do you do when you see this screen here? This screen should be a warning sign to you that there are some files that are spread across several folders, if not several hard drives, uh, some of which you will have mounted on your computer and some of which you may not. Now, Pro Tools offers a simple solution and it will offer to automatically find and relink these files. Now, this is probably the best thing to do for now because usually when you open up a session, you want to get busy on it. So that's what we're going to do. Let me just explain what this is. There's 25 audio files missing. This is what this this what this is telling us here. Zero fade files missing. Zero, you know, all these are what kind of files are missing. Now, if it's missing fade files, it's usually easiest just to hit regenerate missing fade files, and it'll it'll never show this problem again. But this audio files are a different thing. So what we're going to do is hit OK and let it automatically find and relink the files. Then when it relinks it, it's telling you that it's in another folder somewhere more than likely. This is called the regions bin, and if it's not open, just click this tab right here and it'll pop open. I am going to pull it open so that we can take a good look at it. Okay, this it really doesn't tell you that much. It doesn't even, unless you look really quick, it doesn't even tell you which files are in question. I happen to know that it's these files here. Okay, so here's what we're going to do to see that. Let's click the tab here and go to show in full path. Okay, now this is going to show the full path to that file. Here's what we're looking for. Let's look at this here. It says Mix Coach, Current Projects, Isaac Stiley, Audio Files, and then the name of the file. Look right here. It says Current Projects, Ben Parker Project, Finished, Ben Parker, Don't Ever Give In. There's two different paths right there. This is the problem. Now, it happens to be that they are both on the Mix Coach Drive. They're both in the current projects folder, but one's in Ben Parker and one's in Isaac Stiley. Okay? Now, I'm going to show you the easiest solution for this, which requires more hard disk space and is a patch. And then tomorrow, I'm going to show you the pro way of doing it. But here's the simplest solution. We're going to go to File, and we're going to save copy in and then this menu will come up you're going to hit all audio files and then it'll give you options to what you want to copy but what we're going to do is just copy all the audio files and hit ok then it's going to give you the option of naming the file it'll default to copy of and then the name of the folder just save and then work out of that folder and you should be good from now on now there's just a couple of problems with this that i found First of all, is that it doesn't export or doesn't make a copy of any of the previous files that are in there. Let's just say you did one file that was uh, just tracking and one file that was just vocals and then the next file was just mixing. It won't save any of the previous versions of, of the Pro Tools sessions. So you have to be careful that if there are things that you have eliminated track-wise or out of the audio folders, that you're not going to have that anymore. Tomorrow, I'm going to show you how to even fix that problem. So come back tomorrow, and we'll talk about that. See ya.